Mariupol, Kharkiv, Nikolaev. These large Ukrainian cities have been brought to collapse. Such a fate awaits every major city. Against the backdrop of the coming cold weather, Ukraine is plunging into a humanitarian catastrophe. This is a war of annihilation. Russian missiles destroy the thermal power plants that supply heat and electricity to the homes of civilians. But the successful debut of the Iris-T SLM anti-aircraft systems gives hope for salvation. Now you will learn about the work of the latest Iris-T SLM, which is not in service with any country in the world, even in Germany. At the same time, we will tell you what changes await the missile defense system in Europe and probably the United States. At the beginning of the war, the destruction rate of Russian missiles was only 10%. After eight months, the air defense forces of Ukraine shoot down from 50 to 60% of the targets. Therefore, the Russians change tactics. A target for Russian missiles became civilian critical infrastructure. Now, for the anti-air defenses of Ukraine, it is necessary to protect not only military facilities, but also the energy systems of the country. Air defense efficiency should be increased to at least 80%. According to the initial plans, the Iris-T SLM air defense systems were to arrive in Ukraine in 2023. But another massive rocket attack on Ukrainian cities changed the delivery schedule. In early October, the total number of launched long-range missiles reached 100 to 150 per day. Therefore, the first battery of anti-aircraft missile systems, SAM, Iris-T SLM, arrived in Ukraine much earlier, already in the first 10 days of October. The Iris-T SLM air defense system is capable of hitting helicopters, aircraft, as well as crews, anti-ship, anti-radar, and other types of missiles. The complex includes 1. Launcher for 8 missiles 2. Radar installation 3. Command Post The Battery Control Center can be located up to 12.5 miles from the launchers. Each element of the complex is based on a separate wheeled chassis of a man truck. At the request of the customer, the complex can be based on any chassis. However, wheeled air defense systems have better mobility. Under conditions of intensive hunting for air defense systems, this is an important characteristic. The Iris-T SLM air defense system uses modified missiles that were originally intended to arm combat aircraft. The maximum range of the hit target reaches 25 miles, interception height 12.5 miles. The missile operates on a fire-and-forget basis. The version of the missile for the Iris-T SLM air defense system has a combined targeting method. After launch, the missile is brought to the target area by inertial or radio command systems. And when the missile enters the attack course, a highly sensitive infrared seeker is activated. This approach is especially effective against an aircraft because the missile operates autonomously without the participation of ground-based radar. If there is no irradiation of the ground station, then the airborne heat trap release system of the aircraft does not work. But the main feature of the Iris-T SLM is its ultra-sensitive radar. The complex is equipped with a TRML-4D radar, which detects an aircraft at a distance of 155 miles. Target acquisition occurs at a distance of 75 miles. Note that the TRML-4D is capable of tracking more than 1.5 thousand targets in real time. Usually, an ultra-sensitive radar gives a lot of background noise, decoys. But thanks to the recognition and classification of objects by type, false targets do not interfere with correct operation. The radar simply screens them out. The Iris-T SLM air defense system is capable of simultaneously tracking and destroying several objects at once. The complex can receive data on targets from other radars, as well as transmit the coordinates of objects to other participants in the missile defense system. This is a very important ability because the German military had concerns about whether Western air defense and missile defense of the NATO standard could successfully integrate into the Ukrainian defense system. The fact is that earlier, Ukraine was supplied mainly with portable or mobile air defense systems such as Stinger or Starstreak. We talked about these systems in one of our videos. 
They do not require integration into a common system. It is enough to maintain communication between the combat crew and the commander, so as not to accidentally destroy your aircraft with friendly fire. The only one-time delivery of a large S-300 air defense system took place in April. Slovakia handed it over to Ukraine, but the S-300 is a Soviet system. The same air defense systems are in service with Ukraine, so there were no problems with integration. The delivery of the IRIS-T SLM air defense system is the first step in building a new air defense system in Ukraine. This was stated by the Minister of Defense of the country, Reznikov, and President Zelensky himself. The first battery, consisting of three IRIS-T SLM units, was sent to the south of Ukraine. The place of deployment was not chosen by chance. Three IRIS-T SLM launchers are capable of protecting 62 miles of front or a large city from missiles. At first glance, this is not much, but with a good location of the air defense system, it is possible to cover a much larger area. In southern Ukraine, the first IRIS-T SLM battery got in the way of missiles launched from the Black Sea. As you know, Russian ships with caliber cruise missiles are constantly on duty there. The routes of cruise missiles flying from the Black Sea to the west of Ukraine run just through the odessa nikolaev line. It is problematic to fly over Odessa from the west because there is the territory and airspace of Moldova. That is why Chernivtsi and Uzhorod are rarely attacked by sea-based cruise missiles. And the route bypassing the odessa nikolaev line from the east increases the time for the missile to reach the target. Here we should talk in more detail about the pros and cons of cruise missiles. The complex winding trajectory of cruise missiles creates difficulties for the missile defense system. A low altitude route with terrain avoidance also makes it difficult for radar to detect the missile. These are the main benefits. However, the longer the missile flies, the more chances the air defense has to eliminate it, because the cruising speed of a cruise missile rarely exceeds Mach 1 and the speed of the IRIS-T rocket reaches Mach 3. Thus, just one IRIS-T SLM battery changed the balance of power in an important area. We note here the competent approach of the Ukrainian command. The Russians began to use the firing line in the Caspian Sea more often. As a result, the effectiveness of the air defense forces of Ukraine has increased markedly. In addition, launches of Russian X-series missiles from a strategic bomber are much more expensive than caliber strikes. But the single IRIS-T SLM battery does not fundamentally solve the problem of the safety of civilian objects. The length of the front line is about 550 miles. To this figure should be added the length of Ukraine's border with Russia and Belarus. From these territories, missile strikes are also carried out regularly. Thus, the length of the perimeter which protects the air defense of Ukraine is more than 2,000 miles. To close the sky, Ukraine needs several dozen modern air defense and missile defense systems. Before the start of the war, Ukraine had a significant number of medium and long-range anti-aircraft systems inherited from the USSR, Buk M1, S-125, S-300. These air defense systems cover a range of altitudes from 3,500 miles and above. The age of all these complexes exceeded 30 years. By the beginning of the war, they retained their performance thanks to repairs and modernization. Therefore, despite the statements of the Russians about the complete suppression of the air defense system of Ukraine, a significant part of the complexes is still functioning. But after eight months of daily rocket attacks, these systems have become very worn out. Ukraine will soon be left without protection. Therefore, the country's leadership is trying with all its might to speed up the supply of alternative weapons. Ukraine is waiting for deliveries of NASA's short to medium range air defense systems, Italian French SAMP T systems, and continued deliveries of IRIS T air defense systems. However, the Western allies do not have enough such air defenses. Why? The fact is that the Western defense doctrine is based on the air superiority of NATO fighter aircraft. Layered defense by means of air defense and missile defense is used only in strategically important areas. NATO strategists once decided that it was not advisable to fire crews and ballistic missiles at civilians in cities. First, it's expensive. Secondly, 
the killing of thousands of civilians does not affect the combat capability of the army. Finally, it's inhumane. The time of total wars, according to Western generals, has long passed. However, Putin proves otherwise. A sharp return to the inhuman ways of waging war is forcing Europe to reconsider its air defense and missile defense system. Obviously, European countries will increase military budgets. Most of the money will go to the creation of layered air defense throughout Europe. In total war, kamikaze drones play a significant role. Compared to a rocket, a kamikaze drone does not carry a very large charge. The warhead rarely exceeds 110 pounds. This is several times less than the mass of the warhead of a cruise missile. However, if several drones are involved in an attack, then this disadvantage is compensated. In addition, kamikaze drones terrify the civilian population. Russia uses drones to strike at stationary civilian targets. Kamikaze drones operate autonomously and attack a predetermined target. Orientation in space is made by GPS. Due to its low speed and small size, the kamikaze drone successfully overcomes air defenses. Counteracting a massive raid of missiles of different types in different directions and different trajectories is an incredibly difficult task. None of the existing air defense systems today will fulfill it 100%. Even the famous Israeli Iron Dome hits up to 90% of unguided ballistic missiles. But when several hundred of them are launched, the Iron Dome also fails. And if dozens of kamikaze drones join a massive missile attack, then it is almost impossible to defend yourself. Therefore, there is only one way to close the sky over Ukraine 100%, to destroy enemy drones, missiles, and aircraft at launch sites, airfields, and storage bases. To do this, the Ukrainian armed forces require long-range missiles. So far, no country has dared to supply such weapons to Ukraine. So far, the whole world is watching with interest what will happen next. No one thinks that they could be Putin's next target.